Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to explore how to ingest JSON and XML data into the Snowflake. In the last session, we have covered how we are going to insert the CSV structure, CSV uh, basically a structure data into the Snowflake tables. We have created some objects like file format, but that too specifically for the structure data. But what if your client is going to give you JSON, XML, Parquet, Evro, ORC, and if they are asking you to insert into the Snowflake, how you are going to deal with it? So let's look at it. So in this session, like in this, we are going to take some exercises. So I have downloaded some, some, some sample JSON data, some sample XML file, and I am just going to insert, insert that XML and JSON data. Okay, so for that, first, what we need to do? I mean, every time when we need a when we need to insert the data, we need view object. Right? We need few objects. What are those objects? I hope if you have um, covered my previous session, you know it. The first thing is we need the file, okay, the data file which we need to insert. Second, you are going to create a table. Third, we will be creating a file format, and fourth. We need a stages. However, in this UI load, we are going to take, we are going to use our table stages only. We will be talking about the name stages in the next video. Okay. So in the files, I have, I have already downloaded it. In, in fact, if you want for this exercises, you can download from Kaggle. You can download for any web. Okay. Now next is I'm going to create a table. So to create this, I'm going to write create or replace table which is going to be my JSON data. So my table name is going to be JSON data. But now, if you remember, I told you about one data type, which is variant. So whenever we are going to deal with the semi-structured data type, semi-structured data, semi-structured file, I will be always choosing a variant or like you can use even array also. So in this, I'm going to have a column. So this is going to be my column, uh, column that's it. Uh, like, or I can just keep it anything like a data column. And then I'm going to keep it a variant. That's it. So my table is created. Now I need to insert the data. But why I'm taking only one column, you will get to know later. Okay. So now the next step is I'm going to create my file format. So I'm going to write create or replace file format. And this is going to be the JSON type. Now the mandatory parameter we have is the type JSON. So every time when I'm going to ingest the data into the Snowflake, I need the file format. Okay, I have discussed why we need the file format in my previous video. So please make sure you have complete that video. So I'm just going to use only this mandatory parameter for it. However, we have few parameters like few optional parameter depending on the data. Okay, I'm not going to uh, like uh, take a deep dive into the JSON. Okay, so look at it. My file format is ready. My table is ready. Now, how will I insert it? Okay, if you remember, we have already performed this activity twice. So I'll come into my database, YouTube learning. I'll go into the raw data schema because I have created this JSON data into this raw data. I'll expand the tables and then I have this JSON data. I click on three dots, click on load data and then browse the files. This is going to take me to this file and ha I have this sample JSON file. I'm going to open it and then you see, I'm going to click on next. After that, I will be choosing my file format. Although there is a custom, like it's basically a system file format, which is going to be, which is temporary file format, which is going to be created at the runtime by the Snowflake. But I'm going to use my JSON type file format, which I have created specifically for this. And here you see load as a single variant column, which is going to be a checked. Okay. Now we have some other uh, parameter also, which we will be looking into the copy into command. So that's, I'm just going to click on. Yes, this is the column, which is coming from the file. And then this is the data column, which is in my table. And I'm going to load it. Now, when I perform this, when I clicked on load and you see again, six rows were loaded. If I click on done, and then if I'm going to query it, how is it going to be look like? So if I write select star from JSON data, this is going to be my variant string. 
you look at it they were the six records and if i scroll to here like scroll to the right you see if for the first record this is going to be look like a completely adjacent okay but again this is not something which i can use for my reporting i cannot send this data to power bi or to the tableau guy and they will be like perform they will be cleaning it no i have to clean this data I will be using a flatten function or I will be like even in fact going to tell you that how we will be making this data into a readable format but that will be a separate lecture. Today we are just going to focus how you will be inserting some JSON or XML type of data. So this is how we can just perform a JSON. Similarly, if I need to perform this for the JSON, uh, XML or Parquet, I'm going to create one more table. So here we have create a replace table. This is going to be my XML table. And again, I'm going to take data column. And that is going to be my variant data type. So i am created my XML table. Now, as a next step, I'm going to create my file format. Okay, I'll do the same thing. I'll do the same step what I did for the JSON data or the CSV data. I'll go into the tables like in the particular schema, database and schema, click on three dots, click on load data. And I'm going to browse this file. I'll select it whether do I have any XML file. Yes, I do have this XML file or I can even take this nested XML. So it's hardly matter whether you take a XML nested XML. So you, the file type should be the XML only. And here this file format in the current database is not coming because it might not be, not get reflected. If you're going to just cancel it and going to refresh it, that might come because if I look into the tables, and into the file format my xml format is coming so some it it may take few seconds or few minutes over here to get reflected so uh, you don't need to worry about that uh, but make sure you're creating a permanent one if it is a temporary one that it might not be reflecting over there i'm going to select this file one more time going to repeat the same process whether we wanted to create a new table or into the existing it should be in the existing one Oh, what's wrong why this xml table is not coming here okay let me just cancel it because it looks like it's not getting reflected so far so i'm going to refresh my window like this entire snowflake here and here into this raw data in the tables yeah i can see that xml table is there yes so i'm going to click on load data click on browse and then i'll click on next when i click on next i can see this file format or even i can see that the file format in my current database so now also the xml format is coming i'll select that and it is going to load the entire data into the one column but that data type is also the variant i'll click on load and that is going to be executed so four records per interested now if I'm going to write the same select star on that particular XML table, how is this data is going to be look like? Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Actually, I'm just trying to access the from the file format. So this is an XML table. And you see, this is how the data is going to be looked like. Again, we need to clean it. We are going to wrap, like we are going to convert into a readable format like a CSV. Okay, so here you can see this is the data type variant and for anything. Okay, so for this, I will be creating a separate video using a flatten function, literal flatten function, which is going to convert this entire JSON into a readable format. And that we will be learning later. Okay, so that's how you can insert the XML JSON. Now, if you need to insert a parquet data, but what we are going to do in this case, we are just slightly going to change it. Okay, now I'm going to upload into the stays. 
because I will be explaining the stay what it stays in a next video. So I'm just going to dropping a hint so that you can just uh, like cover your like you you can basically do some homework what it stays is okay. So in this I am loading parquet data to one stage okay but before that i have to create one stage and snowflake if i'm going to create any object i just need to write create what object i'm going to create i need to specify that so i'm going to create stays and then the stays name so you can just simply write stays data this is just my name you can keep any name if you like megan fox you can just megan fox if you like katrina gaff you can put a katrina gaff or if you like me you can just put visha that's it now if i'm not going to mention any file format to it it is going to be default csv file format it will be a default csv file format so in this stage we will be like talking about that so here i'm just going to write that's it create stage stage data my stage is created so all i'm actually going to do to load the data I'm, I'm like loading the, uh, the data from the UI to the tables, but now I will be loading into the stage. But how are we gonna do this? So for this, if you will come into this raw data, the stages is still not up here. It's very yeah, okay. Here we have the stages, and if you will click on three dots, there is no option of the load data is coming here. That's fine. But if I click on this plus icon into the left top, there is an option we are getting add data. I'll click on this add data and here we have load files into a stage. So this is the option which we are going to get it on the home page and into the add data section where I can do the same activity. The file limit is 250 MB. So here I'm just going to select it. And let's see if I do have any other kind of file. Suppose I'm just going to take this IPL file only or in fact the Spotify anything. I'm just going to open it. Now where in on which stage i wanted to load it so for for that first i need to select my database i need to select my schema and then if the stage is there yes it is already there so i'm just going to choose it and then going to upload it now look at into the right bottom you see the zero to one file uploaded so it's getting uploaded in the back end if you're going to click on expanded go to files which has been uploaded and you can see if I come to here in the stages, yep, this we can just get this file is over there. Okay, if I'm going to enable the directory table, which again we are going to learn it, and you can see this is the file we can just see it over here. Sounds good. I hope you you got some idea about the stage, but not well, what is the stage, what exactly we are going to do. Again, obviously, there will be a couple of questions in your mind, which is going to be clear in the next video. All right. So that's how we can load XML, JSON, CSV. And in fact, if I wanted to perform one activity for the parquet also, I can do that very quick because I have some parquet data also. So I'll come into this data ingestion for data ingestion worksheet only and for the parquet I'll repeat the same process. So what I'm gonna do I'm just going to create one table create a replace table and that is going to have parquet data and this is a data column and it will be the variant. So I have created a table. Now the next, I'm going to create a file format. This is parq1 and then type, I'm going to write. Okay, so my table is created, my file, file format is created. Now again, I'm going to repeat the same process. So I'll come under the table. This is my parquet data. I'll click on three dots, click on load data, click on browse. I need to check it whether I do have any parquet file or not in this folder. Parquet, parquet, and yes, I do have this parquet file, which is user data too. I'm going to open it, click on next, and then here I'm going to select the file parquet one. This is the file format which I'm going to select and click now if you look at the sql show sql so this is running a copy into command 
we have already created a table we have already created a stage that is why we are not seeing that cop and create table and create file format command otherwise if you're gonna do it by yourself like with like if you want the snowflake to infer the schema and then need to create a table at the runtime you will be seeing that script also but here we are loading into an existing table that's why it is running a copy into command and that copy into command from the stage this is something which is very important and we will be covering in upcoming videos now we can see that it's the same process which we have done it you now which we have done for json xml and avra and orc this is the file uh, from one file what are the column we are getting and where exactly it is going to be mapped i'll click on load and then we can see that the data is getting inserted so there were 1000 account which is fine but got inserted now if i write select star from park kiwi and here my data is coming so i have all the columns and the along with the columns i'm seeing the values also so here i have to convert all these columns into the column and the values needs to be into the row okay so in the park it is very simple but again as i mentioned that i will be like covering the entire semi-structured data uh, conversion or basically like making into a readable format into a separate lecture okay i hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't subscribed it subscribe my channel then please do it i'm sure you're gonna get a very very good confidence after the end of the series thank you so much